day 11 and we got a bit of good news and a bit of bad news let's start with the good news on the great british pound swiss franc currency pair our take profit has triggered right up there so we made 152 dollars and 79 cents from that one plus the 63 cents from the swap there in the bag trade over and we were quite fortunate this is right at the top this take profit let's have a look on that 15 minute chart and you can see there it's above the highest close of the day it's not to say that price won't carry on in that direction but certainly for now if it was to reverse we'd be pretty satisfied with that conclusion it's a good trade we are elated with the victory there and then a bit of bad news although not terrible at all on our aussie dollar new zealand dollar trade it is moving a little bit against us we weren't the most confident in this run of momentum getting in with a sell trade at the bottom so it does make sense that price is just consolidating a little bit hopefully it doesn't move back up enough to trigger that stop loss but if it just ranges for a few days and then wants to carry on obviously we're plenty happy with that although we are getting charged quite a bit for it that was over the weekend one dollar 99 cents to hold on to that one not ideal but we're still in it so let's have a look at those other currency pairs now and see what we got out there great british pound aussie dollar very nearing a signal so if we get a couple more days of momentum nice green candle and that will assuredly be a zero line crossover whether we'll be able to take it having this aussie dollar trade open already is yet to be seen first we've got to look out for that signal on the euro japanese yen pair nearing in against that zero line crossover price below the average if we can have a red day or two that will be enough to flip that zero line and get us in and then maybe we can catch a bit down to the support level here euro aussie dollar if we can get a couple real green candles behind this push in favor of the euro zero line crossover is potentially there it's just going to take a bit more time that euro pound trade that we had the option on back then still just hovering at the moment did find a new low don't think it would have been enough to trigger a take profit but it'd be getting close though now would have been a good trade same for this swiss franc japanese yen trade we could have taken it and now finding new lows so it would have been quite nice but we don't load up on the risk back on the aussie dollar new zealand dollar chart our only trade now no new signals today that is fine though we've had two winning trades so far hopefully this one can come into some gains at the very least would be nice don't want to see this cross over here as green histogram bar has come again already many a cross is going on the last few weeks here and we'll be back tomorrow to find out if we've got any new entry signals then day 12 and to our favor doth the trade goeth it's the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar still, and down this price comes now. After it retraced a little bit on this green day here, sell-off continues, and it got pretty far actually. Has pulled back from the low quite a bit since then. Nevertheless, looking quite profitable at the minute, so that's good to see. No action in terms of the price recrossing the moving average or the MACD recrossing zero. So let's just have a look for those other trades. Pound New Zealand dollar any more green days for the pound and this macd is going to cross over zero it's not going to make it above the average though unlikely to get a trade out of any time soon we could see a zero line crossover and then a reverse crossover that classic we'll watch and see great british pound aussie dollar that zero line cross is nearing here we're in this aussie dollar new zealand trade so we won't be able to get in unless we get out of this one you can't even see the bar there but it is jammed in there negative point zero 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 one zero five very low there could see that momentum push the crossover above zero soon let's hope it comes after we snag a winner here on the aussie dollar new zealand dollar on the canadian dollar yen and after these lines have been overlapped for the last couple of days we now finally look like we are going to get that confirmation of a sell trade against the canadian dollar yen we got no trades open with either of these pairs so we'll be free to take that signal but first let's just check out the other pairs and see if there's any others out there Whew, the euro japanese yen pair here that was very close to giving a signal this candle right here is going to close it almost comes with the histogram value 0 0.0073 in case you're unaware that is a positive value which means it is not a negative value so no possible sell entry there otherwise that would have been the cad facing off against the euro there as is we press on no signal no other trade sense so we are in with a sell trade on the canadian dollar japanese yen pair let's pull up our atr currently getting a reading of 62.8 pips that'll be what we go with for our two percent stop loss there is our risk calculated on screen let's sell off the cad 
and so we can set our stop loss and take profit for that that is a stop loss of 1 times ATR 628 points and a 1.5 times take profit that is at 942 points modify that there we go ATR not so big on this one and honestly it seems quite tight here just as it did on the Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar when we got in that stop loss there not even at the high of the day here so a strong retracement a day like this and that stop loss could go at least that take profit isn't past the support level though we have seen this tested a couple of times it does give us a little bit of faith it could come down but that is it then we are now in the trade we're in two trades we've got Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar and the CAD yen well balanced four different currency pairs let's come back tomorrow and see how those are getting on day 13 both of our trades still open and let's first have a look at the Aussie New Zealand dollar trade it's come a bit in our favor hasn't really done much at all today to be fair but still even a little bit is better than nothing so we are in some profit but these swaps are adding up they are expensive swaps so far it is fine though let's have this moving average keep coming down let's have the MACD keep coming down and let's have price keep coming down CAD yen pair this has been a pretty green day for the CAD so that's running against us it did get to be fair about halfway towards our take profit or a third halfway in the end though big retracement back up it comes MACD hasn't recrossed zero though still not above the average so we got no action to take here we can just let this one ride so let's have a look at those other currency pairs see if we've got any new signals out there pound New Zealand crossover nearly happening to the green side we might see that get above zero in the next couple days still prices well below the average the great british pound aussie dollar it is giving us that buy signal in favor of the great british pound now we won't be able to take it because we're already in this aussie dollar trade we're already betting against the aussie dollar and that sell trade there so we don't want to make it that we've got too much risk all on the australian dollar we'll certainly watch for how it goes though in the coming days pound yen pair very nearly getting that sell signal if price had finished where that low is there it could have been below zero it certainly would have been very close might see that in the next few days also getting a signal on the euro japanese yen pair can't take this one either because we're already in a trade with the japanese yen but this one is saying hey sell off your euro and get in favor of the japanese yen which we already are because we're selling off the canadian dollar in favor of the yen don't want to get in two trades that are very similar and end up with a four percent risk on the table so we move on from this pair swiss franc japanese yen we didn't get in this one because we were already in a swiss franc trade at the time but it does look like if we had this almost certainly would have been a take profit around about here today that would have been good but we were right not to get too risky with it this aussie dollar yen pairing we can't get in on this obviously because we've got trades on both these pairs but it is giving us a sell signal against the aussie dollar that macd ever so slightly below zero there those lines just about crossing so yeah we'll have to keep an eye on this one as well see how that goes that is it so no new entry signals for us there we did have a couple in there but we can't just take every sell off against the Aussie dollar <laughs> end up with like six trades just saying yeah the Aussie dollar's going down I mean it's great if you're right but if you're wrong mm, yeah not so fun but we are trying to keep it sustainable so we'll be back in another 24 hours to see how these trades have progressed day 14 then just gone half past 11 we've got our trades up here first Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar well it had looked like it was going to go a tiny bit in our favor now it's pulled back against us we actually got really close to that take profit there but unfortunately big pullback throughout the day hopefully we see a similar thing though if it can stretch that a little bit further then we might be able to snag it the swaps are really adding up $11.95 for it so far no action needed for it though similarly on the CAD yen already up to $5 on swaps there did come a little bit towards our favor this time so that's quite nice came a bit of red and was in profit there for a minute but I think we need some big downward pressure to see a move here this day's been a pretty flat and uncertain day but still macd ema no issue so no action for us to take here let's have a look at those other currency pairs see what's going on and we did get a zero line crossover on this new zealand dollar japanese yen pair to the sell side wouldn't be able to take this trade for a couple reasons one price is going to close above the ema by the look of it and we're also going to trade on the new zealand dollar and a trade on the japanese yen also but still be interesting to see how far that zero line crossover gets pound new zealand dollar doing the reverse it's the new zealand dollar again though this time it's in favor of the pound the macd histogram has moved above zero here and we can see the macd line crossing that signal line 
a price comfortably below the EMA. So nothing for us here. Pound Aussie dollar pairing, if we have been in this zero line crossover from here, be a little bit in our favour so far, it'd be quite nice, but nothing drastic. Pound yen, very almost giving us a signal. If we see a red day tomorrow on this pairing, almost certainly going to get that crossover there. Also a crossover on the Euro CAD pairing today, and it looked like price was about to close below the EMA, but we've seen an enormous pullback throughout the rest of the day here. So no entry for us there, we're in a CAD trade anyway. The Euro Japanese yen pair, if we'd been in this one, we'd only be a little bit in profit at the moment. It would have come down. That wouldn't have been enough to take profit though, so we would be back up here right by our inch price at the moment. And there's another zero line crossover here on the Euro Aussie dollar pair. You can barely see it there, but it is slightly over 0 0.000040. So if we weren't in a trade already with the Australian dollar, we would be getting in a buy trade here. As it is, we'll just have to see how it goes. That Aussie dollar Japanese yen pair, if we'd been in it on a sell trade, then it would be a touch in our favour, but not really a lot of movement there. And it's another sell signal, a zero line crossover on the MACD, again against the Australian dollar. But because we're in an Aussie dollar and a CAD trade already, no signal for us there. We'll check out how it goes though. This looks like it could be a nice one. It's had a bit of a run down already, but uh, that was after a strong run up. Could easily catch the second half of that. That's it for the signals. There were plenty out there, but none on the pairs that are available to us. We're using up all the Pacific currencies plus our one North American currency, the Canadian dollar. So realistically, unless we want to ramp up our risk, we've only actually got trades available, remember, on the Great British Pound, the Euro and the Swiss Franc. So there's only three currency pairs that could give us a signal at the moment. Otherwise, we are currently waiting for these ones. Let's see how they go. Day 15 then, the last day of the week, and it is the third Friday of September, so it has been quadruple witching day today. That's over in the stock world, but let's see how our trades have fared in the last 24 hours. So Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar pulled up here. Did go against us a little bit, still in profit. Price came all the way just a bit back above our entry price. We are seeing green momentum still on the MACD. But nevertheless, as I say, it's still in profit, even with these heavy swaps going on. So no action needed here. And our CAD Japanese yen trade, it is in profit now, but look how close this came to stop loss there. That is very tight. All the way back down though. And now comfortably in profit, more in profit than our Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar trade, in fact. And we're still seeing continued momentum on the MACD to the red side. So no action needed on this one either. Let's have a look at those other pairs and see what's going on. Pound Aussie dollar, if we'd been on this trade, because it did give us a signal which we didn't take, would have been a pretty flat day today. No change there. Great British pound, Japanese yen pair, giving us the sell-off trade here. Obviously, we can't take it because we're in a Japanese yen trade already. But it does look like an appealing move to be fair. This is the first day it's crossed over. So potentially it could run down to here and snag some profits. Good luck to you if you are in on it. Euro yen here also had the option of this trade and it would be going a little bit more in our favour here. Not by much though, could it easily come back up. Still though at this stage would have been nice. Yeah, In case there was any uncertainty on this Swiss franc Japanese yen pair, if we would have taken profit. It's another red day here, big sell off for the Swiss franc. This would have been a certain profit for us had we been in. Not the same story on the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar though. This did give us a signal yesterday here on the zero line crossover and price below the expense average. We didn't take it because we're already in an Aussie dollar and a Canadian dollar trade. But had we been in it, we would have actually been immediately closing this due to this reversal of price here above the moving average. Good thing we avoided that. Would have been a bit of a loss there. And that's it for us then. Just got our Forex trades pulled up here now. That CAD yen moving pretty nicely to our favour. No extra entry signals for us today. But that is absolutely fine. As long as these keep moving to our favour, we can be patient and we can take the good signals, not go crazy with our risk, and hopefully make some consistent profits. We will be back to check on these again on Monday. And let's just see the journal to close off the week. There it is, the journal. Two winning trades so far. And both of these other ones that are still open, they're in a little bit of profit for us as well. So the strategy doing its job $300 to the good at the moment, so you see our balance is quite nicely up. Four trades in 15 days. Not crazy, we did have a lot more signals, not ones we could take, but they were there. If you don't mind having all that risk on one currency pair, then you can take those signals. Some of them work out. We saw how well that Swiss franc Japanese yen trade would be going for us. So instead, it may win the race though here, and I'm very happy with how the strategy is going so far. So we can get wins on both these open trades, and then get in a few more, and get some more wins. Keep it rolling. For now, signing off with a 100% win record.